Hello and welcome to today's English lesson. My name is Stuart. In today's lesson, we're looking at expressions with the verb turn. Let's go to the intro. Now, as I said, today's lesson is looking at expressions with this verb here, which is turn. And we have expressions, idioms, that use this particular verb. And when your English level gets to that high B2, C1, C2 level, you need to know what these expressions mean, obviously, and you also need to incorporate them into your speech, into your writing, in order to take your English to the next level. And today, I'm going to show you some of the main phrases with this verb, or expressions with this verb. Now, the first one is to turn a blind eye. Now through context, we'll have a look what this expression means. So the PM, the Prime Minister, the PM, has been turning a blind eye to corruption. Okay, so he's been turning a blind eye to corruption. Now if you turn a blind eye to something, it means that you deliberately ignore it. You know that it's happening, but you choose, for whatever reason, to ignore it. So in this example, the Prime Minister knows that there's a problem with corruption in his party, but he's turned a blind eye, or he's been turning a blind eye to the corruption and pretending that it doesn't exist, okay? His ministers, some of the other people in his party corrupt, but he's turned a blind eye. He's ignored the reality, and therefore, he has some problems at the moment, the PM. The next one is to toss and turn. To toss and turn. Again, through context, let's look. I don't think Maggie slept well. Maggie, the, the baby. I don't think Maggie slept well. She tossed and turned all night. She tossed and turned. Now, what this means is that she didn't sleep very well. She was very restless last night when she was sleeping. She was moving a lot in bed. She was tossing and turning, okay? She was quite restless. She didn't have a good night's sleep. The next one is to turn the other cheek, to turn the other cheek. Now this is your cheek, or here, this is your cheek. And if you turn the other cheek, okay, through context, I thought he'd retaliate. I thought he would fight back or argue back, but he just turned the other cheek and left. He turned the other cheek, meaning that he didn't re retaliate. He didn't fight back. Somebody was insulting him or somebody was being aggressive uh, towards him, but he didn't fight back. He didn't retaliate. He turned the other cheek and walked away. All right. So that's how we would use this expression here, to turn the other cheek. The next one is to take it in turns or to take something in turns. Again, context. You can both play soccer, okay? You can both play soccer, but take it in turns to be the goalie. So take it in turns, mean, meaning that you go goalkeeper uh, first and then change and you go goalkeeper second. So you take it in turns, you rotate. One person is goalkeeper now, you change, and then the goalie uh, changes and somebody else becomes the goalie. So you take it in turns, you rotate, you change. Take it in turns. The next one, to turn over a new leaf. To turn over a new leaf. Again, context, let's have a look. I haven't seen Pete at the pub lately. Pete hasn't been at the pub. He must have turned over a new leaf, if you can see that. He must have turned over a new leaf, meaning that he's changed his habits for the better because he was drinking too much, he was smoking too much. He doesn't go to the pub anymore, so he's turned over a new leaf. He's changed his habits for the better, let's say, okay? He's turned over a new leaf. Now the next one is to turn the corner. To turn the corner, you're driving down the street and you turn the corner. No, it doesn't mean that. To turn the corner means, let's have a look. Business seems to have turned the corner. Sales are up 20%. 
sales are up 20% because business has turned the corner. So what this means is that business was going badly for a long time or for a short time. I don't know for how long. But this month, sales are up. So business has finally turned the corner. It's improved. It's recovered. It's starting to get better. Okay, It's turned the corner. All right. So business has turned the corner. Number seven, turn up for the books. Turn up for the books. Context. Sally texted me for my birthday. Well, that's a turn up for the books. It was a surprise, okay, because Sally never sends a message for my birthday. So it was a turn up for the books. It was something unexpected. It was a surprise, a turn up for the books. So Sally's text Surprise, can't believe it, got a text from Sally, turn up for the books. The next one, to turn your hand to something, let's have a look again. Mike's left the bank and he has turned his hand to writing. So what this means is that you change your profession for something that involves perhaps a little bit of skill or something different to what you were doing before. Okay, so he was working in a bank. He's turned his hand now to writing. Okay, so he's a skillful writer. He's a good writer. So he's decided to try to make a living uh, uh, writing books or writing novels. Okay, so he's turned his hand to doing it. Sometimes famous people turn their hand to other things. Actors uh, turn their hands to other things. Sports people. Remember that Michael Jordan many years ago turned his hand to baseball. He was playing basketball. He turned his hand to uh, baseball and therefore he decided to change his career or his sport or or whatever he was doing. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight expressions with turn. Thank you very much for watching the lesson. Questions or comments, you know where to leave them in the section below, of course. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Remember to share it on social media, please, with your connections. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.